Do you remember this from yesterday? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That is our governor, Rick Snyder, trying to talk to the crowd in Flint right before President Obama spoke. Wow, a tough situation. It has everyone wondering, was this a huge political NPR mistake? 7 Action News investigator Jim Kirshner was there and is here tonight with the ongoing political crisis for the governor. I mean, that was tough to see. Yeah, that was a huge wow moment yesterday. This was the first time the governor spoke before a big crowd in Flint since he declared the water emergency back in January. Why speak this time in this setting? And what new mistake has the governor made? Good afternoon. That was probably the longest two minutes and 47 seconds of Governor Snyder's political career. Let me begin. And it was a PR person's nightmare. The national attention on President Obama's Flint visit was intense. The governor deciding he wanted to show he was part of the team with the feds and the state fixing Flint. That included a private meeting with some Flint residents. And speaking at the public event, this too was calculated for the governor. Why? The high school gym was secure for the president. People in the audience were not a threat. They only had their voices, but they were heard. I understand why you're angry and frustrated. I want to come here today to apologize, to say I'm sorry and I will fix this. If he's as committed as he says he is to fixing the lead problem in Flint, you got to go into the lion's den, you got to go to their backyard, and you've got to feel the pain of the people there. The governor may regret one part of the speech that got the biggest, loudest reaction. Keep in mind, Flint residents still cannot drink their water, and kids under six years old will have lead poisoning for life. We have a short-term water crisis that needs to be repaired. Is the governor still not getting it? When he uses language like that, you tend to wonder that maybe he's not getting that aspect of this. Now, Chuck adds Governor Snyder knows his legacy rides on the Flint water crisis and the outcome he's done in a year and a half. So where, where will Flint's 100,000 people be at that time? Tonight, get this, it's still not even known when their water will be safe to drink. Ladies? Wow, hard to watch.